Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Gladys Nyaboro, and I am your friend. Today, I come to you with a certain excitement, gratitude in my heart to introduce our company, our movement, which I am so very proud of. And our company is called on Passive, O-N-P-A-S-S-I-V-E. I am very proud of On Passive as a company and as a movement, as an IT company, of course, and as a movement, because of what we stand for and because of who we are. On Passive as a company believes in empowering people, believes in inspiring people. So it's unique because it puts a lot of value on the person, on the human being. And on passive CEO, Mr. Ash Mufare, who is our friend and our brother, believes that it's good for people to live a full life, which means to live quality life, to live with dignity. And why do I say this? This caught my attention recently when he was talking and he said that uh, he believes that God did not create people to just get by life, you know, to just, you know, wake up, you know, work, go to sleep, again, wake up, work, go to sleep, and keep on struggling in life. So he believes that, you know, people should be able, if possible, to reach a point where they, they live life uh, with the dignity, where they live like, you know, where they are successful in a way. It's not guaranteeing success per se, but he believes that if there were systems in place around the world that worked, because as we know, there are different systems and some systems are set in such a way that they do not really focus on empowering and inspiring people and putting things in place that can enable people to live full life, to live life fully and with the dignity. Let me give an, an example. Uh, there could be a family of maybe a single parent or even a family of two parents, but you find that uh, maybe, you know, you one parent or both parents have to work for many hours away for their child, from their children. Or one parent stays home with the children and the other one goes to work for long hours absent from the family in order to be able to provide for the family. And actually most of these families, they are not even working so hard to make so much money that they can have luxurious lives. No, they are working so hard just to put food on the table and they may be able to keep their kids or their children in school. As I speak now, we know, and I'm sure if you are a parent, a parent in some way, either your own children or you are helping some children in the family or friends or neighbors, you know that education is very, very expensive in most countries. And so parents, you know, parents work so hard to pay tuition, some countries call it school fees, you know, to pay for their children's education. And it becomes very, very, very costly. And then when it reaches, reaches a point that the children have to go now to university, they end up taking loans and they graduate college with the loans which enslaves them again to continue paying for those loans for years that they never have to settle, or it takes them many years to settle. How about if you know we had uh, a system in a way that education can be provided for, maybe paid for, at least even partially? And how about if we had more institutions that um, you know that are affordable? than having all these private uh, institutions that are very, very expensive, that only the chosen few get to go to. And then you find even the level of education in different institutions actually 
varies because some are able to have enough teachers, enough professors, enough equipment and supplies, enough facilities, comfortable ones to educate their children. And some are not, some schools are not able to afford. So that's why I say that on passive is unique. For example, when I look at Academy, which is one of the products of on passive, which is an online learning platform that is going to be very affordable compared to the current you know, universities and how much that we have to pay, and then commuting to school, paying for transport, you know, going to get visas to travel to different countries, all those things. Suppose we have more, we had more of this so that people can be able to get education from where they are and a good education and more importantly, affordable. How about, you know, that's why I like our CEO. I keep on mentioning his name, our, our friend and brother, Mr. Ash Mupari. That's why he thought about these things. He said, how about we design this platform which we can make affordable, which can reach people to everywhere where they are. And then he came up with an, you know, uh, all connect that you can do meetings, you know, from anywhere in the world, user-friendly, with more features, AI embedded, you know? It's so interesting. I'm just waiting to see how it, they are going to take the world by storm. <laughs> you know, thinking like that, creating platforms that cater for humanity, you know? Another one is all bless. Oh, bless, which is our on, uh, crowdfunding program that is unique, never done before. Why do I say Oh, bless is very unique? Because our crowdfunding program, whatever, you know, of course, you, you know, we will present a course for which we want to fundraise. It will be vetted. You know, the company has a system in place to make sure it's vetted and it's a good cause. And then whatever funds that you raise through OBLESS, a hundred percent goes to the course. That never happened. Right now, to my knowledge, as far as I know, the platforms which are available for crowdfunding, you put a, you, you know, you post a course, People contribute and a certain percentage of money is taken off, you know, and then you get a certain percentage. So on all bless is unique. That's why I say Mr. Ash Mufari, God bless him. He is unique in his own ways. Of course, he's, you know, an ordinary human being like you and me, only that, you know, he has an ear to listen more and not only listen, of course I listen, but I don't have a way to create the solutions that, <laughs> or to design the solutions that he designs, you know, from scratch. He's always solution oriented, yeah? Trying to solve problems, trying to make it easy for humanity. But the most interesting thing is that he doesn't, he doesn't try to make it easy with the easy ways. He goes the hard way. Yeah? He goes the most ethical way, you know? He's not afraid to, you know, to put the resources to something that he knows is going to transform humanity. It's going to impact lives. And another interesting thing is that he's not limited <laughs> on how far he can go in the sense that, you know, he does not just create something that will not cost much uh, easily, for example, maybe focus on the United States because things, you know, you can easily reach to uh, manpower. There's, you know, the computer system is good. There's electricity. There's no blackout or rationing. Like in other countries, they do, they, you know, they give electricity a certain number of hours in a day and then they take away a certain number of days of hours. They call it uh, either rationing, load shedding, you know all those things, 
but he he goes everywhere in the world. We, the brand ambassadors, the founders, we are from over 200 countries. Yeah? He took up that and knew that he can deliver to anywhere in the world. It's such a wild dream. On passive is a wild dream. And for those who do not understand it, I don't blame you. <laughs> You have to be daring to understand on passive because the, the magnitude of the company, the size of the company, the number of products that our CEO decided to take at one point is just, is, is too much <laughs> in a good way. And so you have, you know, you have to enlarge your vision in a way you have, you know, there has to be a certain level of excitement, in fact, for you to understand. Yeah? It can sound scary <laughs> when, you know, you start several products at one time and have that conviction that it's possible and it's doable. And I, I'm just excited because soon our IT products are hitting the, you know, the markets. And I welcome any of you who has not heard about on passive to visit our website. Click the title of this video below. It will take you to the next page. There you will find the link. Go to our website, look around and see what we have. And on November 20th, don't forget to come back to this, this channel. Take the name of the channel, come back here. Again, click the name of the title, click the, you know, the title of the video. It will take you to the next link. And then you're going to see so much going on <laughs> on our website. And who knows, probably you're going to start hearing the name on Passive more. Just pay attention to the internet. On that day, just go on the internet and Google that name. November 20th is the day. Thank you so much. My name is Gladys Nyaboro and I am your friend. Bye.